So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the basics on how to use iMovie. Um, I make a lot of videos, so I like to keep the clips for each video separate. So what I like to do is create different events. And an event is kind of like a folder where you can put all your clips and movies in and you can kind of categorize them by unit. So I'm going to call this event um, flipped videos. And so I'm going to import anything that I've recorded for flipped videos in here. And once you have your, uh, once you create a new event, it allows you to rename it. And I'm going to import some media because I need to import the video clips that I've created. And so I created one called using YouTube that I'm going to choose and import. And so now inside of that event, which is just like a folder, I have the clip for what I did when I recorded how to use YouTube. Now there's no movie yet, this is just raw footage. And if I want to import more, I could just put import more. Now if I want to create a movie, then I just have to click create movie. And you can also do that through the file menu and I can choose a theme. I don't want a theme, so I just press create. And I'm going to call it using YouTube. And so now I have a movie. And down here are the tracks for my movie. I can create a separate music track that lies underneath it. Um, and I can choose, these are up here, are, uh, here's my movie, it's the very top thing. Um, and then underneath it are the clips that I can choose from. Now, if you want, if you do a long recording, but you know they're only a couple minutes, you want to click here or there. If you put your cursor over here and you click down, you can select as much as you want. And so if I want to select this, you know, 12 seconds of footage, now I have to do is just either, I can just press the plus sign and it'll put that 12 seconds in there. And that's the only thing that's been put in there. So once you have a clip in there, you'll see the video track is here. This is what you see vid visually. And below it, you'll see the audio track that was recorded with that video. Now, if you don't like that clip, then you can just edit and delete it. And uh, you can just get rid of that little clip. That's basically how you just add clips. This is what I call the additive process. So you just find parts that you want to add in. Now I want to start off by putting some sort of title in to tell everyone like, hey, this is a video you're watching. So over here in the content library, you'll see titles and you can click whatever title you want. You have an option of, of how you make your title show up. I'm going to, and, you, and once you click on it, um, you notice that when I move my cursor over it, there's sort of an animation and that's the animation that goes with that title. So if you do that, you can kind of see which titles, what the animation's like, and you just pick one. Um, and so I'm just going to pick the, the focus one cause I like focus, right? You just double click it and it'll pop right in. It defaults to four seconds. You can change that. And over here, the text is highlighted. And so I'm going to add my title using YouTube. And I can change the color and the font size and, and the font itself and the orientation all through this slide here. Now I've got that title done and I want to click outside because if I don't, I might accidentally delete my text. And um, like I just did. And so you notice that it changes to using YouTube. Now, once if I click to the beginning and I press the space bar, the space bar will start playing. So then you can kind of see what's playing. You notice this little yellow bar goes across. Um, and if you need to stop, you can stop. And if you're like, oh no, where'd my clips go? Well, they're still under here in this, um, in this uh, event folder. And I like editing on a subtractive process. So what I'll do is I'll record my entire video. This one was 14.8 minutes long. But I say lots of ums and there are pauses and I make mistakes or whatever. And I want to cut those out. So what I'm going to do instead of just adding the parts that I like, I'm going to put in the entire clip and show you how to delete off things you don't want. So you go to edit and you can select the entire clip. And you notice it's all highlighted in yellow. And so then I can just drag it in and it'll put all 14 minutes in. First, you'll notice that there's this little bar here, and if a little slider, and if I click on the slider, 
it'll make that clip smaller. So now my entire 14.8 minute clip is that tiny little thing. And you only need it to be this tiny when you have a really long video. I like to make mine relatively long so I can see the entire clip. Now, notice that these little sound bars are kind of low. That means that my audio is a little low, and you can adjust that. But first, you notice there's this long pause where there's no talking whatsoever. And if I just want to trim the beginning or end of a clip, then all I have to do is just move this bar over, and it gets rid of that beginning portion. So it's been trimmed. This is what your movie looks like. And sometimes when you import images from the document camera, there'll be stuff that's been cut off. And if there's stuff that's ever been cut off, you, you click this icon here that's called cropping. And you can choose crop to fill, which means you, you notice that there's this little white box. And if I move the box around, it shows a different part. And there's a shaded part that's not viewed at all. And so I can choose that. Or you can choose the fit, which is the entire entirety of your recording. Or you can choose Ken Burns if you want to make your, your video look like a Ken Burns documentary. Um, I usually just go with fit, but in this case I'm going to do crop to fit because I don't necessarily need people to see the extra parts of, of the video. If you don't like your sound quality and you want to enhance your sound quality, make sure the clip is highlighted in yellow down here. Anything that you do up here, you have to make sure is highlighted in yellow. And so my audio tracks look kind of low, so if I want to increase the volume, then I can increase the volume of my audio clip. And you'll notice that these little sound bars got a little higher up, so that means my video's uh, sound is going to be louder. And if you want to optimize, right now I'm going for flat, you can choose voice enhance, and it will pick up on the voice cues, and notice how the little bars got even higher. Now I've got a couple bars in the red there. That means those are parts of my video that are going to be really loud. I don't necessarily want them to be that loud, and so I can move it back down so that the, the audio levels are, are more normal. Okay, so now that I have the clips, if I notice that there's a little section that I want to cut out, like I say an um or something, and I want to click out the um, but it's like in the middle of a clip, you make sure this yellow bar is where you want to do the, the cutting, and then you go up here to modify, and you'll see that something called split clip. And if you click on it, what's going to happen is, is it breaks the clip at that place where the cursor was. Now, I just remember the hotkey of the command key and the B for, like, breaking up the clip. And so you can use that instead of going to the menu, which is what I do. I put, make sure that the yellow marker is where I want to break the clip up, and I do com command B, and what it does is it splits the clip. And so now if this was 0.4 seconds that I needed to delete, I can just highlight that section, uh, Control X or Command X, I should say. Now, if you don't, if you make a mistake, you can always undo whatever you did under Edit, and it'll undo. Now, one of the good things about iMovie is that it kind of saves as you go, so you don't have to remember to save it; it'll save it for you. And I've actually had iMovie crash on me, the older version, and everything was as it should be. And so that's. If you want to add a title over something, like every once in a while I will make a mistake and I don't want to reshoot the entire video. So I'll go to titles and I'll pick like the ticker and I'll lay it over the track. And so I can type whatever I want in here, whatever I want to be playing. And so then when I actually play the video, I'm just going to show you some of the basic uh, navigation through YouTube, um, just enough so that you can start. You'll notice down here that the little ticker shows up, and whatever I typed in there will, will appear. So if you take any of these titles and you lay them over your track, then you can put some text over it, like if you make a mistake, as opposed to having to reshoot the entire thing. And of course, you can adjust the length. It's really easy. Just click on the yellow and uh, click on the screen, I should say, click on the ticker, and you can, when you see that little double arrow thing show up, that means you can trim it, and you can make it as short as you want it to, and it'll go faster in the case of the trigger, so a ticker, so I made it 60 or 6 seconds shorter, and if I want to change its position, I can just click on it and drag it, and it'll, it'll move the position. Now, when you're ready, your video is as you want it, 
then all you have to do is click on share. If you want to keep the movie file and upload it to maybe directly to your website or whatever, then you choose file. If you want to put it directly to YouTube, then you click on YouTube. Theater is just saving it into this other portion of iMovie. What I normally do is I will save it as a file so that I can upload it at uh, later at school. So I'm at home right now and I will save the files at home when I make my video. When I go to school and I have a faster, super fast internet connection, that's when I upload them all to YouTube separately uh, through the file as opposed to through iMovie. And when you are rendering it into a movie or uploading it, in this corner up here, a little blue circle will appear. It's kind of like a progress bar. And when it's completely filled in, your movie will be done and you can preview it if you so desire.